How long did it take you to write the book? Two months. Not that long. They're all real stories, so yeah. Kind of flowed out. It was. It took longer to to figure out what to take out of the chapters because I have a tendency when I write and when I talk to not stop. Okay. So <laughs> there's a whole. There's like a tonnage of it. And um, I had to just figure out what, it was why the editor was important. Mm -hmm. Because she was like, I don't know why the story about you eating sandwich is important for this job. And I'm like, well, I don't know. It just seemed funny. She's like, it's not really funny. <laughs> so you don't really need that one. That's good. Yeah. Maybe the next book. Sandwiches, sandwiches, sandwiches. Yes. Yeah, I like I'm sure it. you know a lot about sandwiches. Sandwiches actually are, I just want to say this right now. <laughs> if you have, if you're in a relationship and you have a boyfriend or a husband or a fiance, and I'm telling you, it seems simple. Sandwich. Okay. A sandwich without him expecting to get a sandwich is like, you just made me a sandwich. It's something, I don't know what it is. It's just something about the sandwich and the act of making the sandwich and bringing it over the plate and having it cut in half. The surprise of it. I don't know. You cared enough to make me a sandwich. Something sandwich okay. shaped by something. I'm not sure what yet. Okay. Right. Has someone made you a sandwich? Ever? Yes. Yeah. Good. It's good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. If I, I, I'm very simple. Like, for my birthday, if you made me a sandwich. <laughs> Best gift ever. I don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> same. As long as you have a sandwich. Yeah, but not the same if I go to a restaurant and I don't order a sandwich. It's going to be at my house and someone makes me a sandwich. Okay. We can't bring you a sandwich from somewhere to your house. No. Okay, not the same. Did you expect us to be talking this much about sandwiches? I thought so, yeah. I thought about it. Good thing I didn't put it in the question, so I wanted it to go to sandwiches. You wanted it to be natural. Mm -hmm. I like that. Natural yeah. transition into sandwiches. Yeah, because then I don't know where to go from that, so we might as well just keep talking. Um, how did I get started in comedy? Mm -hmm. I liked making fun of people. Good. And uh, my father said, why don't you try to get on stage? You're such a wise ass. And I said, okay. I was 15. He had to drive me to the show. He and my mother sat in the front row. And I remember talking to somebody and they said, well, I said, what should I talk about? And they were like, just talk about what you know. And I said, oh, okay. So my parents were sitting in the front row and I did 15 minutes on how much they fought. And my mother, <laughs> I told the story about how we were driving down the highway once and my dad pulled over and made her get out of the car. And said, well, walk it off because she was taking up the whole car. <laughs> So he pulled over, rolled down the windows, told her to get out, and had her walk up and down the side of the highway. So I told that story and some other stories, basically all about that. And my mother said, that, that, we got in the car, and she was like, that was interesting. And I said, okay. I said, are you guys mad? And she goes, no, no, not mad. I'm not mad. I'm mad. Just I've never... Nothing I'll ever see you again. Is that okay with you? Like, it's fine with me. She says, you can drive me off and pick me up. Let's go. And then what are your plans for the rest of 2013 besides touring? I am trying to develop a show that is like a cross between, it's like a male version of Chelsea and the man show. You know, for me, do you watch Chelsea at all? I do. Okay. So for me, you know, I'm maybe one of two people, guys like me on that show. Mm -hmm. So I, I, but I love the format and I love her and I love her honesty. And I would love to be able to do a show like that but geared a little more with a male voice. So that's what I hope to do in 2013.